In this demo, I'll show you how Salesforce Orchestrator helps you prepare for a large-scale service incident by creating a workflow that coordinates parallel work streams across teams and systems. What you're looking at here is a flood of new cases we're receiving from customers who are reporting a service outage. Now, our team quickly discovered that these cases are due to an incident that is impacting many customers. Now, how are we going to respond to an incident like this? Well, our team is using the incident management features inside Salesforce to identify, track, and fix these kind of issues. But responding to an incident of this scale is going to require that multiple teams coordinate. And the question is, how did we coordinate this kind of response? Well, we used a tool called Salesforce Orchestrator, which you're looking at here, to create a special type of workflow that coordinates work across many other workflows. And what that means is that behind each of these steps is a dedicated workflow that either automates some background task or guides a user through an interaction. And then using these individual workflows back in Orchestrator, we can coordinate the execution of all of these workflows in parallel across many different teams and systems. This is how we can tackle business processes that are bigger than any one workflow. And it's why we now have an incident response plan, which will be automatically invoked when a new incident record gets created. So let's go return to that incident record and then click Save. And with that one click, because of our orchestration, a lot is going to happen. For example, if I click over to Users and then log in as Quentin, what we'll see is that Quentin has a new notification. And that's because Quentin was automatically assigned as the escalation manager for this incident. And if he clicks that notification, he'll be sent to the incident record. And on that record, Quentin is going to find a workflow related to his personal task that helps him assess the incident's problem and its severity level. But what happens next? Well, let's log out as Quentin and return to our orchestration. Now, as you can see, after an incident is assessed, we've established different responses based on the severity level. And because this is a major incident impacting many customers, we're going to assemble a cross-functional response involving customer service, marketing, engineering, and sales. And then inside this orchestration, we'll equip each of these teams with their own workflows to help them respond to this incident. This is how we're using Orchestrator to coordinate activities in parallel across multiple teams. And what that means is if we return to users and then log in as Tim, we'll see that Tim was also sent a notification. And this is because Tim is the support lead assigned to this incident. And if Tim clicks into that notification, we'll see that he has a workflow of his own that helps him update every customer case associated with this incident with just a few clicks. And while Tim is doing all of this, other teams are also taking action. And we can see that if we log in as Cindy from our sales team. Here we can see that our orchestration is proactively notifying every sales rep if they have a customer who is being impacted by this incident. This enables each member of our sales team to proactively reach out to those customers. The bigger point here is that this orchestration is enabling the entire company to converge on this incident so that we can not only swiftly resolve the issue, but also heal any fractured relationships with our customers. Which is why, a few moments later, our team has resolved the incident and they can use another workflow to mark this incident as fully resolved. And even after they do that, our orchestration continues to work in the background by automatically notifying each impacted customer and closing their associated cases. So now you've seen how Salesforce Orchestrator helps us prepare for a large-scale service incident by creating a workflow that coordinates parallel work streams across multiple teams and systems.